The dryer has stopped. The dryer has stopped. The dryer has stopped. Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can make a regular dumb washer or dryer into a smart one using smart things and a power monitoring plug. The feature that is most useful to me for smart appliances is the ability to know when your laundry cycle is complete. This video will show you how to get these notifications without having to buy a new washer or dryer. For this setup I used a Zen 15 power monitoring plug from Zoos, a Smart Things Hub V3, and a third gen Echo Dot. So here's basically how it works. The washer or dryer is plugged into the smart plug and the smart plug monitors the power and reports it to the smart things hub. A smart app for smart things called WebCore is used to determine when the washer or dryer cycle is complete based on power usage and then it will alert you via a push notification. As a bonus, smart things can then trigger a custom Amazon Alexa routine that will play an audio alert on an Amazon Echo device. The dryer has stopped. I'm not going to go over how to set up SmartThings or WebCore. For instructions on how to install WebCore for SmartThings, see the link in the description. I followed these instructions and easily got it working. I'll also leave a link that shows how to trigger Amazon Alexa routines from SmartThings. In order to determine when the washer or dryer cycle is complete, you need to get a history of how the appliance uses power. This chart shows an example of the power the appliance might require during a cycle. You need to decide how much power draw indicates that the cycle has started for your appliance. Then you need to decide what the minimum threshold should be. In other words, what value should the power draw stay below when the appliance is idle? You may find that the power draw may drop to zero or close to it several times during the cycle. So you also have to decide a dwell time. In other words, how long should the power stay below that level? This way you don't get alerts telling you the cycle is done when it's not. To get this history, monitor the appliance's power draw for a cycle or two. In the SmartThings app, select the power monitoring plug and then select history at the bottom of the screen. Set the activity to power meter and then browse through the history for that device. In my case it showed that my gas dryer has a large power draw at the start and then consistently used around 250 watts for most of the cycle with a few spikes and then dropped to around 2 watts before finally going to zero. I decided that if the dryer stayed above 10 watts for 30 seconds then I could say the cycle had started. 10 watts was just in case there were spikes in power draw when the appliance was idle. And if the power stayed less than one watt for three minutes, then I could say the cycle had completed. Next, a very simple script can be written in WebCore that determines when the appliance cycle starts and ends based on the power thresholds and dwell times you determined. The basic way it works is that a true-false variable is used to define the state of the appliance, if it's running or not. When the power goes above the threshold for a certain amount of time, the variables change to a true state. At the end of the cycle, when the power goes below the set threshold for the set amount of time, the cycle end time is recorded, the dryer running variable is set to false, and a push notification is sent via the SmartThings phone app with the completion message and including end time. Finally, a virtual switch is triggered which starts the Amazon Alexa routine which plays the audio message over an echo dot. Here I've shown the Amazon routine which will not make a whole lot of sense until you read the link in the description regarding triggering Amazon routines from SmartThings. As a side note, make sure when you're picking a smart plug that you get one that's rated for 15 amps. I wasn't paying attention with the first one I bought and I ended up having my washer trip the plug out before I realized that it was only rated for 10 amps. I went with the Zoos Zen 15 because it's made for heavy duty applications and it has that 15 amp rating. So that's basically it guys. It's a very simple little automation with that nice touch of being able to have an Echo Dot give the audio notification. I plan on making a video showing a couple of other very useful automations around the house. So if you want to see more, please subscribe. And if there's anything else you want to know or see in future videos, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.